you think about polar bears, drones don't usually come to mind, but very soon drones might help save bears in the wild. It's all because of an unlikely partnership. New at 5 o'clock, 10 News reporter Jeff Lasky reveals how the San Diego Zoo teamed up with the local company to go where they've never gone before. Seals. More specifically, they eat seal fat. You can tell from the looks on the faces, these people love polar bears. They're pretty. Kaluk is up in the back, which is her brother. They especially captivate uh, Nicholas Pilfel. That's why he became a scientist studying polar bears for the San Diego Zoo. And I think in a lot of ways there's that sort of that dynamic between the attraction of a beautiful animal and the fact that they're also a deadly animal. Watching polar bears in the zoo is easy, but studying bears in the wild is just the opposite. It's really hard to follow a polar bear. Absolutely. The Arctic is beyond freezing cold and it's dark much of the year. Plus, there's another challenge. Because a lot of the technology we use is very loud. So when we go out uh, in A-star helicopters, uh, polar bears know that we're there before we can see them. That's why the zoo came up with an unlikely partnership, so they can actually follow bears in the wild to places no human can go. This is not the kind of thing I normally do. This is a very kind of new direction for us at Northrop Grumman. That's right, Northrop Grumman. The aerospace giant best known for space exploration and military drones is teaming up with the zoo to track bears. Charlie Welch is in charge of the project. It's an extreme environment and polar bears cover a huge area. So for us, it's an amazing experience because we love challenges. Last month, Charlie's team tested new UAV technology, practicing with flights over an empty field in Hamul. Soon they'll be flying over the Arctic, doing research never before possible. The zoo hopes what they will learn will help unlock mysteries about polar bears and climate change so we can keep the majestic animals safe, not just in the zoo, but also in the wild. Jeff Lasky, 10 News. They are beautiful. Several teams of engineers at Northrop competed to get to work on this polar bear project, and they expect to get started in the Arctic within the next few weeks.